I'm not fast enough at the Rubik's Cube. I don't know if it's because I feel competitive with the many that are faster than me, or the fact that I haven't improved in almost two years, but it's time for a change. Getting faster relies on either turning speed or efficiency. To increase my turning speed, I could work on smoother look ahead or faster recognition, but today I'm going with the latter option. There are a couple of ways to get more efficient with the moves you make, but I'm concentrating on the most dreaded of them all, cramming algorithms. I want to learn COLL, standing for Corners of Last Layer. The reason why OF gets its own letter is because CLL is already an algorithm set. The COLL algorithm set is basically additional OLLs to learn. When the first two layers are completed and the yellow cross happens to already be done, then instead of doing normal OLL, you can do a COLL which will guarantee the corners of PLL to be solved. This will always give you a U, H, or Z perm, which are all decent algorithms. It also drastically increases the chance of a PLL skip, from 1.4% to 8.3%. That's almost a 600% increase. So when the cross is solved for OLL, there are 7 different OLL cases possible. By learning COLL, you learn usually 6 algorithms for each of the 7 cases, to be able to get the corners of PLL solved, in each case. This does exclude the student and anti-student cases because it is generally agreed that it's just faster to do them normally because of how fast they are as algorithms. On top of that, the H case, instead of having six extra algorithms to learn, only has four. So by taking off soon and anti soon and then taking two more algorithms off because of the H case, we are left with 28 algorithms to learn and recognize, and then solve. On top of that, spring break is coming to an end, so I only have two days to learn this entire algorithm set before I'm swamped by the clutches of school again. Let's get memorizing. <sighs> okay, wow. I actually memorized all of the algorithms, but as soon as I started practicing them together, I started mixing up the algorithms that I was solving because so many of them are extremely similar to each other. See you tomorrow to see if I can separate these algorithms in my mind. Okay, back for round two and I'm feeling much less confident. Let's just see what happens. It's the end of day two, and I think I finally got it. I hope I don't get confused for the final test. It is time for the final test. I'm going to try every single one of the algorithms to see if I really memorized all of COLL. These algorithms are scrambled randomly, and I don't know what I'm going to get next because of my wonderful scrambler who has agreed to scramble all of the cubes. So let's see if I have success or if all of this work was for nothing. It is time. Pass me the first cube. Next up, H, E, bingo, high case, and just standard pie. Final case. Done. Success. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. Catch you in the next one.